can hear that. Everyone get off the Wi-Fi. Yeah, somebody said that in the chat earlier. <laughs> that has been around forever, um, that it's like, I don't know, like, you know, you see these communities, but I feel like I, if I don't, some of this stuff just seems a little flash in the pan to me, and so I don't want to come here and talk about it because we have a lot of responsibility on the show. So right here, I'm basically wrapping uh, the cash wrap section. So when I cut this piece, I didn't account for the overlap that happens on every single piece as it comes down. So it's gonna be, it's gonna come up a little bit short, but uh, it's not gonna be a huge deal because the molding piece that I'm gonna put over the corner, it's gonna hide that gap and uh, it'll be just fine. So um, get this finished, nailed up, we'll put on this end cap uh, and then we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for molding, uh, which the molding is actually going to be what holds uh, this beadboard to the cash wrap because uh, this stuff's so thin and it's not really even wood it's like a composite material so uh, we'll get the molding on here and uh, we'll have to account for this gap all the way down so it doesn't rip off so there's that all wrapped up just needs a little bit of some trim put on the edges so the molding uh, stays flush with the uh, beadboard and we'll put this end cap on and we're good to go What's up guys, uh, so we've been slowly plugging away at everything that we're trying to work on right now. And like we've talked about, you know, there's a lot of little things that need to get done um, to get these, you know, basically these larger projects done. Um, so we're still working on painting the tanks. Uh, you know, we're putting on about two coats and then flipping them. And I know that some of you had uh, suggested that, you know, use the backings. Well, the backings um, has always been my experience and not the greatest. And the good thing about paint is you put it on there and it stays on there. And it's not something that you need to fight uh, very often. So um, it's kind of like a get it done once and you're done with it and you don't have to worry about it falling off or bubbling. Because one of the biggest things that for me, a pet peeve, has always been like when you have this roll of um, backing on an aquarium and it starts to bubble up or roll up and you can kind of see uh, the gap from in between the tank and the back backing it's just something it's a little one of those little oc things that kind of bugs me a lot so i've always liked painting uh tanks that's my preferred way to do it it is much more labor intensive and it would save me some time to just throw some backing on there but that's not my style uh, so we threw a couple of the tanks up on the rack and put the light on them yeah so we put them up there and with a couple sides painted and even though that the paint job wasn't the best and like i ended up putting a i think it was that one right there putting another coat on the backing with the lighting uh it really kind of just makes it like disappear and i think it, once it's all together and done it's going to be pretty impressive but uh just yeah labor intensive uh we started messing around with the blower and I was trying to think through how I was going to attach that to the rack. I was thinking that I was going to put it on the back side and use these clamps with there. Uh, use these clamps right here, and that'd be good. But I can't get a uh, screw or a drill rather uh, behind the stand. I don't have enough space. So then I was kind of thinking like, well, when I'm adding the airlines and the uh, valves, what that, what is that going to look like? So I think what I'm going to do now is where that pump is, that's going to be on the back side, And then I'm going to plumb uh, the airline tubing, not airline tubing. Well, it's going to be airline, but the uh, pipe around and then put it on the studs facing this way. That way, if I need to make adjustments with the air, I'm not climbing up under there and fighting a whole bunch of stuff. I think it's going to be a little bit easier. Not, tr not very, very easy because those tanks will still be in place. But I should be able um, to you know, get it set up and be able to work it in a way that isn't too painful. Um, but I think that's what we're going to land on 
with the freshwater system. We are putting the trim on the bottom as well. And I messed up my cut here on the far end. So we're gonna have to have a couple of extra cuts in the trim, which I'm painting them as I go because I'm trying to keep them from bowing and cupping and all that stuff. So uh, a lot of th little, little things uh, kind of wrapping up today. And I was thinking through what exactly I wanted to get accomplished because today's Friday, then I got Saturday, Sunday. I do have a delivery, um, a smaller delivery of dry goods coming Monday, then another one Wednesday. And then I just put in another order with a distributor, which is gonna be um, a, another tank and stand, which that's gonna be a kit that I sell um, there, I did almost buy a tank for the store, um, but I wanted to try to make sure that I have everything that I need prior to doing that. Uh, but it was going to be a pretty, pretty large tank. I was pretty impressed with the, the price, but, um, kind of sat there on it, looking at it, didn't really pull a trigger and actually somebody ended up buying it, um, during the time that I had it in my cart. So I guess it's not the time. So we got a couple of uh, dry good orders put in as of right now. I want to see how that kind of uh, fills out the store and what where my holes are as far as product um, when I open up. But we do have uh, this kit tank right here um, that we are going to be uh, putting together an offering. Um, so we'll have uh, two kits plus these and probably some empty aquariums and then some small nano setups uh, to offer folks um, when we open our doors. But big, big, big things as far as, you know, the dry goods coming in here, uh, that's what essentially that's gonna do is it's gonna put me in a position where I have to uh, get the website up and running, start putting inventory in, and probably what's gonna end up happening is I'm going, um, about the same time that the website goes up and the signs get installed, I'm going to share with you guys the uh, website store so you can, you know, if you want to support what we're doing here, um, you can do that prior to opening um, the actual physical doors because I'll still have to do inspections to get all that going. But So a couple of things that I was thinking through what I wanted to get accomplished before I went on my dry goods rant uh, for this weekend was I want, I'm not going to have uh, the sponge filters here until I think Wednesday uh, for the fresh water tanks. I won't have the plumbing for the frag tanks until Wednesday. So Wednesday is going to be a pretty important day as far as shipments go uh, next week. And I think what I'm going to be doing is just getting everything to a point where I can actually, um, when I do get the things that I need to actually sustain life, um, I'm going to have to get everything in place so that when I get those items, it's like we got it done and hopefully it won't be too painful. So a lot of painting, a lot of trim work right now. Um, I probably got to start working on that wall. I did get my permit from the code enforcer. So, um, we're able to put the doors up and I need to get an electrician over here to install some more exit signs. Uh, yeah, a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do. Crazy how much work I got left to do. Um, and it's gonna be weird because the further into this process that I get, uh, the more interesting and, you know, just everything coming together, it's gonna be pretty crazy. But um, sitting here talking to this camera, it's not gonna get things done. So uh, I'm gonna continue to paint, I'm gonna continue to put trim in. But I think that's going to do it for uh, today's video. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I got to edit this video, upload, waiting on some paint to dry. Get back at that. I'll see you guys tomorrow right here with a brand new video. Peace. Hey.